Hello, everyone. I'm Sam Ekman of Gold Derby and joined by Andy Hall and Nadia Tsuo, nominated this year at the Emmys for Outstanding Main Title Design for The Last of Us. Uh, to you both, when, when you were first kind of tasked with creating the opening for this series, I'm curious, like, when you look at the series of a whole and you have to sort of create this this emotional opening to it, get the viewer ready. Like, what is your goal? What do you set out to achieve, you know, with your title sequence? You want to take that, Nadia, or do you want? Uh, yeah, you can go ahead. Um, <clears throat> I think, I mean, I, I mean, every sort of thing, sequence that we do, obviously it's, it's a way to give some context to the show for the audience. Um, <clears throat> obviously not, give away what it is but start to start to become the fabric of it i mean uh, a kind of good way to describe it it's almost like the the book cover so you see that and it and it gives it gives you some insight it gives you a feeling it gives you a the texture of it the personality um and that's you know in this particular case there's a very you know something that a lot of people already knew about what the show was about from obviously the people's experience in playing the video game. Um, but there's also a, a large chunk of the audience that have no relationship to it. <clears throat> so we wanted to create something that both basically spoke both to both sides of that audience, really ones that obviously could, um, that had that, that have had that experience playing the game and obviously then have invested it in one way. Um, and obviously then just a, a new audience come into it, but also wanted to have a similar experience. So um, I think that's sort of how we we try and we try and give it context, but without obviously giving away all the secrets of what the show may or may not be about. So sure. and this one, you know, the fungus, the spreading fungus is obviously the core element in this sequence. How long did it take to get that effect to land on the the right look for that? Um, oh dear, do you want to speak yeah, to that I one? think it's largely based on, in reality, how they move. And I think for Craig and Neil, they already have a very clear vision for how the title will look like because it's such a well-established franchise it, the story is is very iconic and we originally did a broadcast of all the concept around the show and it seems like they they were really clear at what they hoped to see in terms of the variety and this world built around just fungus and they're pretty yeah. um, particular about the color and the, yeah. the palette for the show. Yeah, and and, and <clears throat> I think also with that 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 concept, obviously it's it's what's rooted in the show, right? Um, but it's the, the idea that 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 species communicates and to essentially talk to one another and stuff like that. And there's, I think, <clears throat> what they wanted. And how they wanted us to approach it, obviously, for it to look like as if you're looking at some kind of uh, natural history footage, or so it feels real. It feels grounded. It's not trying to be doing something outlandish, um, but then in those in those moments, you see details that paint something about the the context of the show, but still is always grounded in the fact that it's this fungal matter that's evolving and transforming and overrunning essentially so <clears throat> that was something that you know uh, both Craig and um, Neil wanted to always uh, always for us to sort of not lose context of that you know I think it was important that it um, that it that it had that feeling and obviously <clears throat> we went through an awful lot of footage and stuff to really start to find the different textures and the different motions and stuff that could la allow us to then manifest this thing into in informing and transforming into 
details, whether it's, you know, a, a person or the, the map of America, but still ultimately always still feel like some some form of fungus, some species of it, whatever it may be. Um, so that it never took you out of that that idea. Yeah, yeah I and I remember, sorry, Go I remember it, actually the the first keyword that came into the conversation was actually it's it's like an invasion, like a taking over. So oh. there's a lot of emotional, motion wise, that we need to achieve to yeah. the narrative. Completely. I really enjoyed, you know, you mentioned those shapes that the fungus uh, takes on throughout the sequence. And I really liked how each one felt like it was a reveal in a way, mm -hmm. or a, almost like a Rorschach test, because you're watching something move and, oh, it's a face. And, oh, those two could be, these sprouts could be Joel and Ellie at the end. Yeah. Um, did you approach it that way? You know, what what was the the <laughs> sort of process of getting to that point where, it was like yeah. a reveal for each one. I mean that that was I mean that was sort of that, you know, obviously you use this vehicle, which is obviously this what these different types of funguses and how they they move and grow and uh, establish themselves. But ultimately, um still at still the details that we can see and um reveal are things that have have uh some connection to the show like whether it's that i you know the fundamentally at its core that it's it's overwhelming and it's it's um destroying and it's that that sort of despair and that 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 desolation that it's doing but then <clears throat> needing to have sort of stepping stones through it that led the viewer and obviously once they see the show it gives them more context that how it's overrunning the the, the whole country how it's like in in it's overcoming people and transforming them and stuff like that and things so that was always something that um the showrunners wanted to to have in there as details but details that are fleeting and details that maybe on first view and certain people aren't going to pick up on and then as you watch it again and again um there's more and more of that that kind of comes comes to uh fruition um throughout the piece yeah, some of the vision, some of the images just came naturally almost because the creature basically function in the same way uh, with us. So you see the cities, how they're formed around. Um, there's actually an interesting video from the lab that the fungus grows are actually following, you know, almost like a traffic grid because it's mm. trying to take the most efficient way to connect to, to communicate so that part sort of just can naturally resembling our society yeah and it's all put together with this really incredible music uh from Hi. Gustavo Santolaya and I was curious what uh what was that collaboration process like was that piece of music always the one being used uh, or did that come after or before the, oh, oh, sorry <laughs> yeah it was um i mean it was always that it was always going to be the music um and i think it, they they slightly he he basically rewrote some of it to work in that that time frame but essentially at his core it's you know what is so uniquely recognizable from obviously the from the game um and it's it it works in such a powerful way as well because it's so haunting and there's a there's a desperation to it and stuff and a but it, you know also there's a there's an element of hopefulness in a way and that you know that's that journey that those two are on or that that hope of what that journey's on and I think that was something that was always going to be the the underlying structure to whatever we were doing because it you know it it works perfectly. And does that help sort of when you have a powerful piece of music like that, does that help in the creative process and sort of guiding and coloring the tone and the the pacing of what you're building? Yeah, it definitely affected the, the cuts, the way we 
like the speed we travel and the pacing for sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's funny if you, if you really listen to it, I mean, cause we went through a lot of different ways of iterating. Um, sorry, if you can hear my children make a lot of noise, um, <clears throat> but there is, there is quite like, even though it has this, there's a, an element of quite a, quite a like sparse nature to it. There's, 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 there's pace in there and things, and there's ways that, that we wanted to reflect that. Um, and so it did it did become something that helped to really motivate and drive the journey as it were and the journey of this the, the fungus as well which is also leaving us like the two almost kind of play off on one another um and then the details that we wanted to see and that craig and neil wanted to see at certain moments again to heighten from the, the from the score as well was uh kind of important so it it very much informed um the the visual path we took um and how we you know how certain things kind of transformed and revealed themselves in certain in certain parts of that track certainly and what is your time like timeline like for a process like this you know how how many iterations do you go through before you <laughs> finally say okay this is it this is the one we're going to stick with so like i mean like nadia sort of um talked to earlier the so the first initial thing we did was just we because there's a lot of people that are like excited about this show in, in our studio um so we just put ideas out there for different ways to interpret it um and obviously also knowing how effective the original tiles were for the for the actual game um and it, they settled on this idea of the, this fungus starting to look like things. Um, and then I think, I mean, I don't know how many iterations we ultimately went. I mean, we went through a lot. I mean, um, and it was the actual production time frame when we actually started to make it, truly make it, it was a fairly normal schedule. But I'd, I'd say there was probably about four months four or five months of just back and forth and doing different ways and stuff you know was it cuts was it a single camera all those kind of things and then obviously the things that we were trying to get in there and trying to find that pace to that um that took the time before we actually then truly got into the execution of the piece when you say nadia yeah i think um we pretty quickly lock on the the main concept and before we go into production, we just spend months to really carefully craft out all the 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 vignette, the, the moments where we want to include. So that way we I think it's a relatively normal production schedule. And I think it benefits from the close collaborative process too. Yeah. And we didn't have so we never saw the show as well. So we never saw any episodes or any, the only, the only thing that we um, got from the show was essentially some um, publicity stills, essentially of <clears throat> what the fun guy, the make makeup looked on the actors that were obviously then like, um, that, that, were, that were basically um, overrun. And that was the only thing we actually really used just in, in terms of color palette. Um, but it was a lot of, like I think, early on we had we had a lot of different sort of American Americana kind of moments and that journey moment and all those kind of things and it was a structurally very different um, and almost a little bit more um, singular details as opposed to this thing that just kept evolving and it took that time to get to that idea of this can essentially that following um following this fungus growing and metamorphosizing and also just a lot of reference back and forth as well just digging into the details just to, to i mean just to find the language of movement and stuff because nature does a very good job of making things look very easy and very simple and yet once you start getting into the making it actually trying to replicate that it's it and making it believable 
a, that just takes just a we were trying to find different techniques to try and figure out how to do that and ultimately you know where we netted out um using houdini and stuff um combined with cinema 4d and uh octane um but it's, it's a lot of research really up to the point of going into full production well, the the many hours uh, all all were worth it. It came out superb, and I have to say this is um, one of my favorite categories at the Emmys. I'm so glad they recognized this work because you know not every show has a, a main title sequence uh, yeah. of this nature, and I think it is a great way of getting an audience into sort of emotionally ready for the show. Um, and, and so I'm curious. It's such a unique. It's a unique place to work in. So what? For the both of you, what is the most exciting aspect of this work to you? What keeps you engaged um, in this? I don't know if do you want to go, Nadia, and then um I think part of our job on the title is to keep people excited. So oh. <laughs> that that part is is pretty good, but I think it, it always has to sort of serve the story. Because, like Andy mentioned, it's like a book cover, and it just has to um, provide the the right vision for the package. I think. Yeah, I mean, I, I would also, um, you know, completely like uh, second that, and I think the other thing, I mean, and it speaks to all the other nominees as well. I think each time we do a title, is they're always different. They're always, and they always ask different questions of us, both as a show, and then off, and then obviously the, the the filmmakers, the showrunners, um, and I think you can see that from the the five nominees, they're they're completely different. They they all are unique in their own right, and um, and I think that and that's part of the challenge and part of the thing that actually makes it interesting. Always coming back to this medium because. It is always a new task that's being asked of you. And I think, you know, having that having that direct line of contact and that with with the showrunners, the people that are living with this show for a very long time and being able to actually interact with them and and really <clears throat> understand what that means to them, because they're they're the ones who've you know created this thing i think it's it's always something that's um uh, a pleasure really because it because it isn't just us i think it's it's very much a a, a a back and forth between us and them to 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 create this thing um you know and i think that it you know it, it has its ups and downs and its challenges but ultimately i think the the work kind of stands on its own merits that they always it always makes something that is visually um kind of unique to the to, to whatever show it is you're making yeah i think a lot of it the part is to find what's the core spirit or the essence of the story and it's it feels really good when we finally find it sometimes it comes really quick and sometimes it takes yeah. some time but it's yeah. all, all these abstract beautiful visuals are they need just to point at this one thing that's representing the, yeah. the show the story and i think yeah. that's very and, and yeah and and there's you know like i mean i think in this case like the last of us and it there's a lot of stakes because people have an expectation of the show because of it you know it's been around before it was ever a TV show, and um, there is that expectation, um, which obviously <clears throat> is daunting as well as exciting and stuff. And then when you, and then it's very gratifying when you see the response from the audience and stuff to to it. Um, that you know, I think that, that all those things make it worth it as well. Well, I think you did a great job finding the essence of this series. Uh, so congratulations on on your nomination. Very well deserved. And Thank uh, you. For, for everyone watching, subscribe to Gold Derby. Stick with us this season. And Nadia, Andy, congrats again. It was wonderful talking with you. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you.